Good afternoon, everybody, and thank you very much for joining us for this pre-match press conference with Zimbabwe Captain Craig Irvine. Um, as always, I'd just like to remind everybody to please ensure that your monitors are muted, especially because this is a Zoom-only press conference. Um, and also, please raise your hand if you would like to ask a question, or please um, put your request to ask a question on the chat panel if you are struggling with your raised hand function. Um, Wahid, thank you. We'll start with you. Right, right. Uh, thank you, Hi, Skipper. Uh, good morning from the Pakistan. Uh, how going your preparation for the coming games? Uh, and one thing, uh, Zimbabwe struggling in the fielding. What do you are doing the special thing to overcome? Uh, the... Wahid, sorry, we're not getting your sound. Hi, and now you can you can hear me. May I go ahead? Y yes, I can. I can hear you. All right, right, sir. Um, uh, ask me. Skipper, uh, my question is that how are go, how going to preparation for the coming games? And second thing, Zimbabwe is struggling in fielding uh, techniques. What are you doing the special things to overcome the uh, fielding weakness? Thank you. So firstly, to answer your, your first question, obviously, since we've arrived in Adelaide, the weather hasn't, uh, hasn't been so great. So we've actually had the day off yesterday because it was a traveling day um, today. Um, we're also we're also gonna gonna take off just because of the just because of the weather and on top of that it's been quite uh, taxing on the on the guys with the amount of of travel that we've had. Um, so we're looking at you know having a couple of days rest and and for guys to come into tomorrow's game with uh, with with a lot of energy, which will probably answer the, the second question of yours in in terms of the fielding. I think you know it's definitely something that let us down in the last game against Bangladesh. Um, and hopefully with the guys being well rested um, coming into tomorrow's game, um, our, our fielding will be will be much improved. Would anyone else like to ask a question? I suppose uh, this is Faisal from AFP. Sorry, I'm, I was struggling with my hand function. Can I ask a question? Yes, you may go ahead. Uh, hi, Craig. Uh, you mentioned about <clears throat> rain uh, in the air and uh, you've been at the brunt of that uh, when the first game was washed out. Uh, how do you see yourself uh, going from here? What is the mood in the camp uh, looking for a spot in the semi-final? Well, I, think, I think the mood in the camp is, is very good. You know, we obviously need to need to play tomorrow, and 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 we also need to pick up two points to to give ourselves, you know, that slim chance of of making the semis. Um, but again, you know, we can't we can't look too far uh, far ahead in this in this tournament. We've got to take each each game as it comes, um, and our focus will definitely be on uh, trying to pick up a win tomorrow against the Netherlands. Uh, was uh, was there a sense of uh, disappointment when you let that? game slip away from from you because it looked like at one point you'd come back well yeah look i think i, I think the disappointing part was was probably our, our fielding I, I thought that you know we do pride ourselves on on good fielding and we could easily have saved 10 15 runs in the field there um but you know credit to to sean williams and and ryan bell at, at at the back end there to actually get us you know that that close because at one stage it looked like we weren't going to get close to to uh, to 150. So, you know they they batted extremely well to give ourselves uh, give ourselves a chance. Um, but I just thought that we we let ourselves down quite heavily in the field. Um, and then at the start of our our batting innings, you know, in, from a position of 35 for four, it always makes it very difficult um, to get over the line from there. Uh, and uh, Sipo, if I can get one more in, please. One more, and then Wahid will go up next. Okay, uh, Craig. Uh, also, you, what a stunning win against Pakistan! This this tournament can this be your the turning point for Zimbabwe cricket that you're looking for so long? Uh, you know, to come back and once again establish yourself uh, as a nation. Well, look, I think I think the last last few months i think zimbabwe cricket has been has been growing from strength to strength um you know and we've had some really really good results and i think it's not not just this world cup i think it's something that we need to try and do consistently you know going forward um 
you know, you, you can always have a have a really good good World Cup, and then after that, you know, things things drop back down again. So it's, it's that's going to be the challenge for us is to keep this momentum up and keep these performances coming through. Thank you. Well, you can go ahead. Right. Uh, Skipper, uh, first of all, good luck for the rest of the tournament. Uh, would you like to uh, describe and explain, uh, uh, share the, your experience uh, and good things so far uh, you and your boys got from that tournament? Uh, how was the experience with the, with the playing with the uh, standard and A class uh, teams uh, and even Pakistan and, and others? Uh, how going the tournament? I, I, wa I want to listen to the positive things so far from the tournament. Thank you. Oh, look, I think, you know, one of the positives is, is obviously how far we've come, you know, from doing the qualifiers in, in Zimbabwe to, to then qualifying here at the World Cup. Um, just the opportunity to then play at the various stadiums around Australia um, to get to see the different sites. Although we've only spent a few days in, in each city, um, I think the highlight for a lot of the boys was, was playing at, at, uh, at Optus. Um, you know that that stadium's incredible, and I, I don't think we'll we'll probably play it at, at a better stadium. And I think to top that off, uh, obviously beating beating Pakistan in in such a close game. Um, so there's there's so many positives that you know guys will take from from this tournament, um, regardless of of the of the next two 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 results. Um, but obviously the, <clears throat> the 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 real highlight for us would would be to make the semis. Um, I think that would that would really put the icing on the cake. So, you know, the guys are still very, very positive um, that we're, that we'll get there. Um, and you know, we've we've just got to come into these these last two games with with a lot of energy. Or that's it has been a has been a long taxing tour, um, but we did arrive slightly later. So, um, <clears throat> yeah. But you know, there's 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 so many so many good things and. And so many sites that we've seen around Australia, it's been it's been brilliant. Anybody for the last question? In that case, we'll close. Thank you so much for joining us, Craig, and for giving us your time. And thank you, everyone, for um, joining us this afternoon. Thank you. Thank you, Craig. Best of luck. Cheers. Thank you.